February 8, 2017, 55-year-old Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo won by a huge margin, becoming Somalia's ninth president in one of the highly contested elections in the country's political history. And just 10 days into his presidency, President Farmajo had a tough message for Mogadishu's security partners. My vision is to defeat al-Shabaab within the next two years. Hopefully, um, if we work together very closely, we will be able to defeat al-Shabaab. That's the vision I would like to see happen uh, within the next two years to bring peace and stability in Somalia. That message didn't go well with al-Shabaab an al-Qaeda militant group seeking to overthrow past and present administrations in Somalia for over a decade now. A series of explosions followed, including the deadliest just 11 days into his presidency, that claimed nearly 40 lives at a popular market west of Mogadishu. And after a series of attacks, the president dressed in full military combat declared war on the group. His first major assignment, stabilizing Mogadishu. His strategy, disarming potential threats to stability, a move that's seen an improvement in the capital security. President Farmajo also picked Hassan Ali Qayre as his prime minister, a political newcomer and a former oil executive to form an inclusive, competent government. And at an international conference on Somalia in London in early May, a gathering of more than 40 governments, including some of Somalia's key international partners, President Farmajo sought support for his new government, promising tangible results in the country. We believe that the only path to fully recovering Somalia is strengthening our democratic institutions. To that end, I will spare no effort to realize in the promise of my campaign, which was to fight Somalia's three major enemies, terrorism, corruption, and poverty. Most importantly, I will take measurable steps to unleash the great potential of my people to develop their own country and to do what they know best, trade and commerce. His presidency also suffered its biggest setback in May, following the killing of its youngest minister and a former refugee, Abdullahi Sheikh Abbas, who was serving as Minister of Public Works and Housing, and seen by many as a rising star and an inspiration to the youth. And as Mogadishu marks the first 100 days into Farmajo's presidency, he remains adamant that his government will win the war against terror and restore stability back to Mogadishu. To all those pulling us back, I tell you that this is our country. Renounce violence and rejoin us. We will protect you and rehabilitate you. But to the foreign fighters who've come here to deny my people the peace and stability, and devilment and ruin our image as a country and made Somalia and Mogadishu a terrorist haven, we will fight you and eliminate you from our country because you have no place in our society. On the ground, he remains one of the most popular presidents to occupy Villa Somalia, the country's top office, and enjoys huge public support both here at home and abroad. And with high expectations, many are asking whether President Farmajo will survive the test of time and return a rule of law back to Somalia and also open the path to free and fair democratic elections in the country by the end of 2020. Abdul Aziz Bilo, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.